While we focus on bolt action rifles, the question often comes up, can a gas gun or semi-automatic be a precision rifle? Well, the answer is yes, as long as it's built properly with good quality components. While it's not the only semi-automatic or gas gun platform, the AR is the most popular when it comes to precision semi-automatic rifles. Regardless of which one you choose, each platform has its advantage and perceived disadvantages. When using a gas gun, one of the advantages is once you've loaded it and you're ready to shoot, all you need to do is focus on the fundamentals because the rifle will do the cycling work for you. So now that I have one in the chamber, I simply apply all the fundamentals that we've talked about. We get on the gun, get our target in sight, again run that thumb outside, 90 degree trigger, press, and we have an impact. Now, another thing, the recoil impulse is a lot smoother on a gas gun and it's because of the gas system and the cycling of the bolt as opposed to a sharper, quicker impulse that you'll have in a bolt action rifle. Another advantage for me as a left-handed shooter, uh, a gas gun affords me the opportunity to shoot ambidextrous a lot simpler. So once I have my support hand on the bag on a gas gun, I don't have to move it. I'm just simply pressing the trigger. Also, let's talk about follow-up shots. If speed is your thing and you need to shoot fast, your follow-up shots will be faster on a gas gun as opposed to a bolt action rifle. One of the perceived disadvantages with gas gun platform is that because of the moving parts, you can have decreased accuracy. And if everything doesn't work the same way every single time, yes, you can have inconsistencies. But for the most part, it delivers really, really good accuracy. Now, with all the working parts, uh, you often hear, well, a gas gun can't be as reliable. Now, you can have complications with both platforms, but due to the sensitivity of what's going on inside a gas gun, we can run into reliability issues. In a gas gun, when you press the trigger, you're actually swinging a hammer that then has to hit a firing pin. So there's a lot more movement. In a bolt action, you simply press the trigger and the firing pin ignites the primer. So there's a little bit more going on and shooting an AR platform requires a bit more stability and locking in as solid as possible to extract all the accuracy that you can out of it. So while the gas gun has its perceived disadvantages, overall it is and can be a very reliable and accurate precision shooting rig. One thing that you can forget when you don't shoot gas guns very often is how incredibly fun they are. Now you'll hear different opinions on the speed and follow-up shots, but there's something just awesome about being able to send round after round and getting good hits on target. That's a lot of fun. The tried and true bolt action rifle. As far as precision goes, it's typically more accurate due to fewer moving parts and a solid and consistent bolt lockup. But you'll also find with the bolt action rifle that it is definitely more forgiving when it comes to accuracy. So you want something that gives you a little bit of leeway because as people, well, we make mistakes and the bolt action gives us just a little bit more forgiveness than the semi-automatic platform. Perceived disadvantage of the bolt action is because we have to cycle the bolt, well, it's slower follow-up shots, and that's true. But another thing that happens, shooters tend to cycle the bolt, they press out their shot, and then they lift their head to cycle the bolt. And that will slow you down significantly. It will also move the rifle. So you want to be sure that when you press out your shot, 
get your impact, stay on the optic, and you can throw it off the right side. With all things considered, bolt action rifles have set the standard in accuracy due to superior receiver design and mating with the barrel. Keep in mind, the bolt action rifle has a one piece receiver and most semi-automatic platforms like the AR have two piece receivers. So as you can see, there are advantages and disadvantages to each platform and it really comes down to which one you wanna utilize. Whichever platform you decide to use, be sure to exercise the proper fundamentals of shooting and practice, practice, practice.